Welcome everyone, it's John. Yes, I am at the Teddy Bear Motel over near Cherokee, North Carolina. And I wanted to stop by here and film it. Um, I seen a video a while back of the carpet bagger had been here. And I was like, man, I gotta come check this place out. It looks pretty awesome. And it does. You got the bear up there relaxing on the sign. And it's a cold day out today. So I'm obviously wearing the flannel. But uh, it's a vacancy on the side of the building. Check out the inside of it here. You can see the hotel. It's been abandoned for quite some time. Just storage. America. Okay, let's go over here and look at the. There's a big red elm in here. Kind of cool looking. Yeah, the carpet bag was right. This block work here is kind of vintage, retro looking. I like it. So what's back here? Some of the plumbing workings and TV and yeah, um, the main reason this place closed down is there's all the Bibles. Is they was running an illegal drug or drug gambling ring in here, so they were busted, drug all the gambling machines out, and shut the place down. These are just some of the interior. Evil looking pumpkin. Let's go this way. But yeah, they uh, they busted them and threw them out and everything. All right. Whew. Looks like the food's still sitting here. Cans of mixed vegetables. Someone had some pizza. And it could be squatters staying in these places too, so we gotta be careful. Here's smoke detector beeping. I think when Jacob was here, there was a smoke detector beeping. It's kind of funny. Hello? Some pretty sharp looking artwork on there. This one. It's crazy. Pill bottles and stuff still in here. Wow. I'm not going to open that. There's a big refrigerator in here. Grill. A lot of these rooms are just cookie cutter, not much in them. All kinds of canned food items in here. Wow, look at that. Big fireplace looking area. Wow. Makes you wonder if somebody could be living in here. It'd be kind of a cool spot, too. Ramen noodles. And... Is it a bear? Or a dog? I don't know. I'd say it's a puppy. In the back of the main lobby area. A 
kind of a nicer Frigidaire stove, dishwasher, all that's just left behind. Front counter area. Now I don't know exactly when this closed down. See if we can find a date on something. Well, that was this year on that. There's a teddy bear. Oh no, seemed like I remembered in Jacob's video there being two of these on here. Well, let's check it out. Hmm. Okay. First aid. A lot of the laundry and linens and stuff are in here. Minnie Mouse. Oh. Some kind of shampoo or bubble bath or something. I'm gonna cooking device here. Hmm. Someone lost their bumper. As I'm walking, most of the rooms just look like this now. Not really much left. See, they just all. Yes, carpet bagger. The shredded tire is still here. Hmm. Okay, we went through all the rooms down here. Let's go upstairs and check it out real quick. See what's going on up here. My wife is in the car. She doesn't like to get into the exploration part too much. Mainly just piled with junk. Really sounded like somebody inside there. Weird. I think they might be. Oh, sorry. Really sound like somebody in that one room. I don't know. We'll see if they come out. Could be a squatter, something like that. But, uh. The Jose Crevo. <laughs> There's the mashed potatoes. A bunch of clothes, socks, and stuff in that drawer. Funny. Welcome. There's that smoke detector it's been beeping. Hmm. This one's in really bad shape. Oh yeah. I forgot about this in the carpet baggers video. The gold rhinestone encrusted toilet seat. He's in back out. <laughs> now, that's creepy. But even creepier than that is this. And even creepier than that, sitting up here 
in the window sill. Just waiting. I swear to God, if that head turns towards me. What's this up here? What are you doing up here, little guy? Are you? Is this a Pokemon or something? No, it's a little duck. I see it sitting on its back. That is creepy. We're going to leave them be and not mess with it. This looks like a hoarder's house. It's a mess up here. Somebody's child there on the wall. I saw the restaurant up there. I'm going to go see if we can get inside it and check it out real quick before we finish up for the day. Alright, this is the Teddy Bear Restaurant. Let's see what we can get in. Okay, we are inside the Teddy Bear Restaurant. This would have hung over a buffet or something, probably. Not sitting here on the ground. Hmm. Some kind of heater or something. Peas. Pintos. Some baked beans. I wonder where they had the casino games and stuff. A little stock room in here. The toilet. Somebody once got mad at me on one of my early videos for saying turlet because you know it's it's funny. I think it's just being goofy, but I got jumped all over for saying it, so I'll say turlet. <laughs> There's still soap in the soap dispenser. Okay. Another bathroom. All kinds of Electronic stuff. This place is a mess. Open sign. Some people have just trashed this place big time. Take a bath after being in here. Take me a shower, anyways. Christmas decorations. Oh, it's Ronnie Millsap. Yeah. Oh, there's a wooden teddy bear. And there's another teddy bear and a big bird Elmo. I don't know. That's a weird Elmo slash big bird. Whatever. I must be in a twilight zone or this is a um, Mandela effect. Cannot think. What did they have to do to get the beads? I believe it was Jacob that said there was some sort of animatronic band set on this little stage here. Let's get closer so you can see better. So it's, a, it's always a stage floor area. We've got a fireplace here. Or they put shows on or something here, I'm not sure. Got the lattice board here. Huh, very interesting. The Teddy Bear Restaurant. That bear's still here. I remember that being in the Carpetbaggers video. So. Two dollar beer. Hungry. I just wonder. Looks pretty rough on the bottom. If there's an expiration date on this, if it would still be. Yeah, there's one on here, but you cannot read it. It's in the midst of all that. I wouldn't eat it anyways. But server stand did right down everything Lori Morgan a 
it's Dale Jr. Alright. Okay. I just wanted to look at this too. As the carpetbagger pointed out, yeah, the hotel did close due to gambling, illegal gambling. But if you look here, ah, I can't get my camera to focus. Oh, total chloroform. Okay, and then you read out here. It's anyways, it's poop. Excessive amounts of doo-doo in their food. It's probably the main reason why this restaurant shut down. Um, it's pretty disgusting when you think about it. Um, you know, of course, there's amounts of feces and everything, but excessive amounts for it to come up in a report and then for to label it on the window is pretty nasty. But uh, but that's it. That's that's all we're going to show you here. It's it's all there's left the of the abandoned Teddy Bear Motel restaurant. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Please subscribe up here somewhere in this corner. I'm going to put it there. And there's a couple more videos here for you to check out. So look at those. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you. God bless. And you have a wonderful day.